Have you ever come into church to pray and, I don't know, maybe setting aside the, the, the vocal prayers that we have and the prayer books that we have, but you ever just sit in front of the, the Blessed Sacrament and kind of just get lost in it? Now, some people will interpret that as, you know, I, I, really, I really didn't do anything during that time. Well, St. Paul wants to tell us that that's necessarily not the case. And in fact, maybe one of the highest levels of prayers that we can have is this, what we call contemplation. Where you sit and you rest in front of the Lord. You're not even meditating. But you're staring at Him who, in return, is lovingly staring back at you. St. Paul says the spirit in our first reading comes to the aid of our weakness for we do not know how to pray as we ought. That there's even within us the spirit in which God gives us really the prayer that we ought to pray even when we don't know what that is. And like I said two weeks ago, and really the last two weeks on, on how we approach prayer you know, a lot of times we come in and we, we, we tell God what we want and I encourage you to ask that. But then there's also that other, you know, other thought though, train of thought where sometimes we are asking for the wrong things and, you know, there's reasons why God is, is asking us to, to carry a certain cross in our lives right now. And it's because that spirit, we do not know what we need, but it's the spirit that does. And the Spirit intercedes with inexpressible groanings. Remember yesterday I talked about how St. Paul was comparing really our lives to that of like a, a, a woman in labor. You know, so he's kind of making a reference back to that with, with the groanings. You know, that, that the Spirit, even though maybe it's suffering and hurting, it knows what we need. So sometimes it's okay just to come in and, and just stare at the monster and stare at the tabernacle, stare at the cross and just let the Spirit do the work to get lost in the love of God. At the end of today's first reading, St. Paul gives us the, the movements of our salvation that those he predestined, he called, those he called, he justified, and those he justified, he glorified. Notice all those things that, according to our salvation, are the actions of God. He predestined us, he calls us, he justifies us, he glorifies us. So God is the key movement in the story of our salvation, both in the actual moment of salvation, but also in our relationship and in our prayer lives. He is the first mover of all things. What he asks of us is to present ourselves to him, and to place all of our trust in him, that even as we come into prayer, even when we don't know what to pray for, that God is there to provide for us, not only in prayer, but in all things. God bless you.